And was he maybe a little better than you thought he would be, or maybe not as good as you? Well, he went. Straight back. Oh, oh, oh. Is that, can you say that again? Oh, that Yeah. What was going on, man? <laughs> I was watching your fight. Um, I'll repeat the question. In the build-up, you guys, you know, there was a lot of questions. Who was winning the fight? You obviously won by the knockout. And I wanted to know, is he the best fighter you have faced? And, and have not, how does he stack up with some of the other quality guys that you have been in the ring with? Uh, I would say he, he, the best fighter is probably, I say he's the best fighter. Um, definitely, definitely, uh, Definitely, we, we was feeling, we was going off each other's energy in there. I, I, we was, we was, uh, we was actually wild, we was actually talking in there, and, you know what I mean? And it, it was fun, it was fun, it was fun while it lasted, you know what I mean? I, I enjoyed uh, every moment of it, so. And I, I know that the fight is over now, and it's fresh in your mind, and it's, you know, your next fight's not going to be playing for a little while. But coming off this big, huge victory against a very big name like Ryan Garcia, is it is it anything in your mind about the type of fight or the type of opponent or the division you'd like to fight in next? Uh, not right now. Not right now. Just uh, just going back to the strong board with my team and everything, and uh, we sit down and we make a, a decision as a team. You know what I mean? Uh, can't really see right now because just, I just fought, but. Um, I'm gonna try to rest. You know, I fought twice. I'm gonna try to rest, and uh, hopefully we'll we we'll come up with a, a good, good um, game plan in the next couple months and uh, head on again. Javante uh, Keith Ayek from BoxingSeed.com. Congratulations. Uh, in, earlier in the second round, before you knocked him down, it seemed like he might have caught you with a shot. Uh, can you tell us kind of what happened in the beginning of the round where you, you kind of held him a little bit after that? He caught me with a shot? It seemed that way. He, oh, with the brick hand? With his right hand or something? I think so, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but then he was, he was boxing. Um, he probably caught him with a good shot. It, it, it was no shot that caught me today, and I felt like I was in trouble. You know what I mean, uh, I just, I just stayed, uh, stayed calm. I felt like he was more anxious than me. You know what I mean? When, when uh, you have somebody like that, you want to stay, stay calm at, uh, at all costs because you don't want to make a, uh, a bad decision. And that's what he did. You know what I mean? He, he came in and he was rushing and he ran into a shot. So I knew all the get go. Like I don't want to be that. You know what I mean? I want to stay calm and stay. Stay uh, collective and stay humble as I as I uh, fight, and that's why we're doing pick my shots. Right here, uh, in front. Um, this question is for Calvin Ford and for uh, Leonard Alberby. Um I don't know if you guys have taken a look at the scorecards, but in the second round, the round that Tank knocked uh, Garcia down, one of the judges scored it 10-10. And the other two judges had it 10 9. How do you guys feel about that? Um, he was, he was, he was, he was, I would say he was dominating in that round, but he was coming on real strong until he got pulled with that shot. So the way how he looked at it, the way like they did between the judges, they might have even or gave that round to him. When Kenny, he said to me, Well, we won that round. And I thought he was going to take the big win that round because when you get dropped like that, you get an eight down. And the round went to the one that got dropped. It is what it is. It was, but again, he should have won that round. Clear. Gervonta, Adriana Noriega with ABN Sports and Fox Deportes over here in the back. Um, first of all, congratulations on a great victory tonight. A couple of days ago, I talked to Devin Haney, and he expressed his interest in fighting the winner of tonight's fight. Obviously, with this great victory tonight, I'm wondering how interested you are in pursuing an undisputed fight with him, and what message do you have for Haney? Uh, no, uh, he, he need to focus on May the 20th. 
Well, how the hell am I at that? I know where you want to speak on this my moment. All right, right now, before we continue with questions, we're going to allow Javante Davis, Ryan Garcia to take a photo, and then we'll allow Ryan to go ahead and leave, and we will continue with the press conference for the victorious Javante Tank Davis. Pitches for Ryan. Ryan, this way, Ryan. Give the round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. These two entertain millions around the world. They are what's great for boxing. Gervonta Davis, Ryan Garcia. They laid it all on the line. And you know what? This has just been an amazing week and an amazing night. We give so much appreciation to both Ryan Garcia and Gervonta Davis for what they did for boxing and for fight fans around the world, ladies and gentlemen. All right, Ryan Garcia with the port. We wish him good luck moving forward and the rest of his evening. Shit. Round of applause yet again, ladies and gentlemen, for both fighters. Boy, did they do so much that was great for boxing and it's certainly what fight fans around the world love about this great sport to see fighters like this lay it all off the line we continue with questions for Gervonta Tank Davis who proves his record to 29 and 0 remaining undefeated from Baltimore, Maryland more questions for the undefeated Gervonta Tank Davis Alright, hi Tank, I'm from LA Talk Girls so I want to talk about how you're going to keep Ryan to his word about the bet that you guys have placed on the Instagram live. Are you still gonna keep it to the book or are you just gonna let that slide? Uh -huh. The bet that you guys have placed, are you gonna keep that money in the bag like you guys said? Two more questions for Javante Tate Davis. Ronnie Young and CBS Detroit. Javante, several times right here in the middle. Several times in this fight, you demonstrated your IQ to a superb level. He was turning his back on you at one point in the fifth round. You did a pirouette to say basically you can't do that. When you saw how aggressive he was becoming, was that your cue to turn it on? You knew that that left hand was going to do damage? I was already aware of like a couple steps before he did it, so I was mostly calm and just you know, that helped him make his mistakes and I just, you know, yeah, I counted off his mistakes. 